Well, we heard him in the first half. He doesn't want to be nauseous after this game. <laughs> he says he doesn't want to puke is what he said, yeah. Over the middle, Brett Ralph in the traffic at midfield. And tossed down late by Otis Floyd. Well, Burris has been comfortable against the Lions in his career. Eight out of 11 starts against BC. He's thrown for over 300 yards, four of six as a Calgary Stampeders starter. Well, and what's been weird about his season is that they come in three and four, and yet Henry Burris in the last four games has averaged 343 yards passing per game. I mean, he, he is moving the football. 165 yards so far tonight. Second and five. Whoa. A little trouble with the handle, but throws a completion. And that will be a yard short. Mark Keith Knowlton drilling Jermaine Copeland. Forward progress about the 51 of BC. Well, a lot of people will point fingers at Copeland and say you need to get more depth, but Pottinger here does a nice job of not allowing him to get too much depth. Watch Pottinger drop back there, but he, he steps up and he forces Copeland to come underneath by about a yard short of that first down. So that was the linebacker dictating to the receiver that if you're going to come across the middle, you better get a little closer to your own quarterback. So the play requires a measurement. And there you go. But a full yard for the Burris led offense if Tom Higgins sends them back. Interesting decision here. I mean, it's it can be such a momentum swing when you gamble and don't get it, and yet you you should be able to get a yard offensively every time. That is a stout front four they have to work against. Johnson, Williams, Hunt, Wake, and company. Third in the yard, and Burris. Decent surge by that offensive line. Rob Lazio's in at left guard, replacing Jay McNeil. Eric Jones there, and they unpile. And it should be a first down. It's the first down Both offensive lines have played well tonight. They're, the running backs are getting some yards, both Joe Smith and Joffrey Reynolds, and pretty good push from that offensive line for the Stampeders. Pilon gets some good penetration into the defensive line, and they get the first down. First and 10 steps. Back on the ground, straight ahead, Reynolds. And Joffrey, three to four more. So Reynolds now at his season high of 13 carries. It's a game of three yards, second down, and seven. And 47 one short, yeah, one short, 47 yards, 17 being the longest. Remember last week, he had four carries for 20 yards total. He has one run for 17 tonight, and approaching that 13 mark, which was his high coming in. You know, he's never had a 100-yard game at eight starts against BC. Here's Burris throwing that one into traffic, and again, he threads the needle. Come on, on Rambo. Well, you almost need a replay just to see what happened there because there were just too many BC Lion jerseys for that ball to be completed. But look at the confidence and the arm strength of Henry Burrs. There's Otis Floyd that's right there. Ryan Phillips has a chance, and Kenyon wow. Rambo concentrates on that baby and pulls it in. That's some kind of catch. Top of your screen, Otis Floyd's underneath. He distracts him. How Ryan Phillips didn't get it. Well, Wally Bono's gonna tell us after the game, Phillips should've had two tonight. He should've, should've had that one. Boy, you get a good look at the fastball that Henry Burris can throw. A former baseball pitcher wants to take a timeout here. Right. 